Are you looking for the best streaming settings for 1080p 30 frames per second or even 60 frames per second? If so, stay tuned. What is going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the best 1080p streaming settings for 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. Let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so getting started, we're going to want to first click on the settings tab, and we're going to want to set the video to a 1920 by 1080. The base resolution for my monitors is 1920 by 1080. This will be whatever yours is. So if you have 720p here, there is no point in trying to stream at 1080p because it's going to be pulling from a canvas that is 1080 or 720p, which means you're not going to see any increase in quality. So make sure this is 1080p and then out put scaled resolution, we'll put the same thing, 1920 by 1080, because that's what we're streaming at. If you have a monitor that's like 1440p or 4K, then you leave that and then you can downscale it to this output resolution to 1920 by 1080. Uh, our downscale filter is gonna be bicubic. We're gonna leave that. This is where some of our settings will change. So for example, if you're doing 30 frames per second, we're gonna leave this at 30. If not, you're gonna do 60, you're gonna change this to 60. So those are the two differences there. And we will come across some of the other differences that we would change in just a second too. Next, moving on to stream, we're going to want to set our streaming services. If you are streaming on Twitch, you'll select Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, select whichever one you plan on streaming to and then sometimes you can set a server sometimes they're just set automatically i tend to like setting it automatically for twitch works well for me and you will need a stream key so twitch has its own stream key you can google where to find that because it does change from time to time and i feel like if i do it with twitch i'm gonna have to do it with uh, you know mixer maybe even smash cast but mobster I, I just don't want to have to do all those single ones with it. And like I said, there's tons of other services in there. Um, if you have a custom streaming server, like you're streaming to a website that you made or something, and you've got that set up on that end, you can use custom streaming servers and set URLs and stream keys and stuff like that for that. Um, but by default, most people are just gonna use standard streaming service, select their service, paste in their stream key, and you're good to go. All right, so moving from stream to output, this is where we're really gonna see some differences between 1080p 30 frames per second and 1080p 60 frames per second. This is the bit rate. This is where literally all of the encoding and stuff happens. This is, I guess what you could say, where the magic happens for streaming. Um, we've got output modes of simple and advanced. Like in my previous videos, we specifically stated that we're gonna use simple instead of advanced just because there's less variance and variables that could affect your stream just not working properly. And this gives you a little bit more of a focused scope of changing settings and dialing in some stream settings that work for you. So with the bit rates, we need to figure out what our bit rate could possibly be. So let's talk about what the range of the bit rate is for something like 1080p, uh, 30 FPS and then 1080p 60 FPS. So for 1080p 30 FPS, I would recommend anywhere from probably about 4,000 on the low end to about 6,000 for 1080p uh, 30 FPS. 1080p 60 FPS, I'm going to up that and it's gonna be anywhere from probably about, um, I would probably say about 8,000 to on the very, very high end a 10,000. And I wouldn't suggest 10,000 that often. I would pretty much suggest 8,000 as the max, but you can tune with it and fiddle around with it and see what works for you. So we'll say a good average for 1080p 60 FPS would be 8,000. So you might have to ask yourself, how do I know if my internet's good enough to be able to stream at these bit rates? Well, we're gonna use something called speedtest.googlefiber.net. This is a speed test uh, site for Google Fiber, and this really lets you know all the way up to a thousand megs a second, how fast your internet really is. So we're gonna run a speed test and I'm gonna kind of explain how megabytes converts to KB per second and stuff like that. So we're seeing right now I was getting up to 20 and this is where we see a really big difference and why it matters. Because if I decided to stream at 20, I'm going to drop so many frames because really on the low end, I'm getting about 13. And we don't wanna stream at 20 if we can only get 13 because then we're gonna drop loads of frames and we don't want that to ever be an issue. So with that being said, we've got 13. So if we were doing say 1080p 60 FPS, we are definitely able to do eight 
8,000 KB per second because 8,000 KB is actually eight megabytes. So you could really just take off the, or megabits. So you could actually take off those three zeros and that's essentially eight. So we still want to add the three to it because we're converting KB per second to MB per second. So 8,000 KB per second is eight megabytes. That's still leaving us with nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That is five extra megabytes that could be used for TeamSpeak, Discord, video games, all that other stuff that's going on in the background. And this leaves you a good buffer for your stream. So let's say maybe we were only getting um, about 8.5 or nine. Uh, megabytes per second, that's where you would start looking at this and saying, maybe I need to stream at 1080p 30 frames per second because I might not be able to consistently hit the bit rate that I need. So for example, if you can stream, if you can get upload speeds of anywhere from, I'd say probably nine to 10 megabytes a second, you can stream 1080p uh, uh, 60 FPS pretty decently. And if you're getting anywhere from probably about six to 10, and you know it kind of bounces and fluctuates back and forth, I would suggest 1080p 30 frames per second as the max. So with us covering all the bitrate, what is the encoder? The encoder is essentially how we take this bitrate and we take the video that we're capturing here and we convert it into little packets or little forms of data that we shoot to the internet or to, in this case, if we left it on Twitch, to Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, wherever we're sending this. And this is how we, um, basically take it and turn it into all that awesome code. So software H, uh, x.264 is the default for a lot of systems. This is because it's software and that means your processor on your computer is doing the work. Um, you also, on some computers, you'll have other options. The two most common other options that you'll see is X um, or NVE NSYNC and NVE NSYNC 2 or new, not 2. NVE and sync new. If you have the option for NVE and sync new, I suggest using that because it's going to use your graphics card to process instead of your processor, which means you might actually get better computer performance during your stream, which is going to be very beneficial for you. The audio bitrate is something I tend to leave alone and it's something you can tune with if you feel comfortable. I'm by no means an audio engineer and I don't understand all the ins and outs of it. So I tend to leave it at 160 and it sounds pretty decent for my stream. The next thing we're gonna look at is audio. This once again, I leave all these the same, the sample rate and channels. If you mess with the sample rate too much, you might actually come into some desync and some errors with your microphone if it's set to a different sample rate. So I don't suggest changing that if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, desktop audio device, I would set this to your headset or your speakers, whichever you normally listen to your game from or whatever you're streaming from. And your mic, I would set this to whatever your microphone is that you're using. So if you're using a blue snowball, you would check this and set this to your blue snowball. If you have a headset that you use as your microphone, find your headset in this list and select it. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna check is the advanced tab. And there is one setting that I suggest for almost every stream to do and that is to change the process priority from normal to uh, above normal. And the reason why we do this is because this tells your computer whenever it's processing stuff that your stream is a big priority to you and you wanna make sure it always has resources to encode. If this was set to normal and say something started hogging up resources on your computer, you might start skipping frames or dropping frames and that's something you don't want. So all right guys, that's gonna be all for this video on the best 1080p settings for 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and get subscribed if you haven't already. We're gonna be pumping out content like crazy on this channel. And if this maybe was too much for your computer, make sure to check out the other videos we did. We did some for 720p and 480p. Once again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe and all that other fun stuff. This has been Chad from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.